Setting up the router can be done in a flash. You will have to connect the router to the power supply and immediately you will see the indicators lighting up to show the availability of network coverage and Wi-Fi. Let me now tell you what these indicators are about. This is the power indicator. It will light up when the router is switched on. This is the network mode indicator. A steady CN means that you're connected to an LTE network. A steady green means you're connected to an Ethernet network. A steady red means the SIM card is not recognized, the PIN has not been entered, or the PIN verification has failed. Or it could also mean you have failed to connect to a mobile network or an Ethernet network. What you see here is the Wi-Fi and the WPS indicator. If it's steadily switched on, it means the Wi-Fi is turned on. If it's blinking, it means a WPS connection is being set up. If the light is turned off, it means that the Wi-Fi is turned off. What you see here is the LAN or WAN indicator. When it's steadily switched on, it means that the LAN or WAN port is connected to a LAN device or an Ethernet port. When the indicator is blinking, data is being transmitted through the LAN or WAN port. When the indicator is switched off, the LAN or WAN port is not connected to a LAN device or an Ethernet port. This one here is the signal strength indicator. When the indicator is switched on, it means that the signal reception is available. Usually, three bars are recommended for better reception. When the indicator is switched off, it means that there is no reception. Once you are successfully connected, you could use your smartphone or computer to scan the network and you will find the SSID called Dialog 4G available. You can click on it and get connected to the network by entering the Wi-Fi key provided along with the router. No hassle with wires, it's a simple process to experience ultra high speeds from Dialog Home Broadband. Additionally, you could use the RJ45 cable to set up a LAN connection for your computer. All you have to do is to connect one end of the cable to the network port of the computer and the other end of the cable to the LAN or WAN port on the router. And then you're good to go. Dialog Home Broadband.